last week, a member of our community pulled over and threatened violence on my life. Right behind that was a tidal wave of realization that that's how people of color feel around this country and we have to stand up. This isn't a question of politics and left and right. This is a question about human dignity and the right to live free of fear. And until we address that as a country, we can't move forward and we can't realize what the founders wanted us to, which is liberty and justice for all. We all know someone, either overtly or quietly racist. And until we recognize that as a threat and start engaging them in dialogue, calling them out on microaggressions, doing our part to change our community, our white community specifically, racism will continue to exist. Movements happen in leaps and bounds in moments. And we have to capture as much of this momentum as we can, and we cannot allow ourselves to step back. We can't look away just because it's tiring and exhausting, because the thing is that black lives matter today, and they're gonna matter next week. They're gonna matter next month and next year. And every day we are going to have to fight to be anti-racist. It's morally unacceptable to not do this because wrong is wrong. And if you being comfortable relies on something being wrong, then that comfort is toxic.